Hey everyone! Hi! Sam here. And Casey. And we have a very exciting video for you today because we are celebrating. What are we celebrating? We're celebrating our five year wedding anniversary. Oh it's been did that. five <laughs> whole years since our wedding. Can you believe it? April 16th, 2016, we tied the knot officially. The fact that this past year has been so crazy, I feel like has made the time. It's added like an extra year. Weirder. Yeah. So I'm like, how, what, when is it? But in fact, I checked the calendar, I did the math, and it's been five years. It's a very difficult math. Very difficult, you know, in, in, in adult life, math is a struggle. Oh, we just got a package. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and take two. So yeah, five, five years, years ago, ago, today. This was uh, our first dance yeah. at our wedding. A little dusty. Yeah. Young and fresh. Right. Oh, another package, oh my gosh. I think it's our uh, food delivery. It's our groceries. It's our groceries. Did you get anything that's gonna melt? Hundreds of things, ice pops, ice cream. Well, okay, so enjoy this picture <laughs> while we go get the groceries. Okay. Believe it or not, this is not actually an advertisement for a grocery <laughs> delivery service. <laughs> Also not sponsored by Triska. This video is not sponsored. But, but I do love Instacart and yeah. Triska. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> so what were we saying? So much has happened in the five years since we've gotten married. We got a cat, Alfie, released two full length albums, traveled the world, on to tour. Asia tour. We wanted to take a moment to reflect. Reflect, reminisce, celebrate. Another reason I'm super excited about our five year in particular, that's 10. That's dead. That's two fives. <laughs> We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> We've been looking forward to it. Because... Because... <laughs> something... Well, let's both try to explain at the same because time. Because of something, something that, that we, we did, did during, during our, our ceremony, ceremony, which... Was. Was. Okay, okay, this is gonna be annoying for them. <laughs> In our wedding ceremony, one very special part was, uh, what was it called? We kind of combined different traditions, but for this one, we took a box and you maybe saw in the This Promise music video, we wrote little notes to each other uh, before, earlier in the day. And we found a bottle of wine. We went to a wine store in our neighborhood and asked for a bottle of wine that would age well mm -hmm. over the course of five years so that we could open the box on our five year anniversary, read the letters we wrote to each other, and drink the bottle of wine. And during the ceremony, we sealed it. The box itself, right here. Ooh has been uh, just chilling in a cabinet up in our kitchen for five years. You may notice in this photo that Sam is wearing this boutonniere and that very boutonniere has been sitting atop this box oh. for five years and has withered crispy. like our youth. It's a little crispy. It's a little crispy. But that's special. I didn't, I don't know, I, why didn't we have both? I think I one know. of them maybe. One of them might have been lost to time. Lost during the revelry that followed. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, today, on, on the 16th, later tonight, we're going to open this up over maybe a nice dinner, drink the wine, read the notes, oh, reminisce. We've decided that we want to get a new bottle of wine, write new notes to each other, put it in, open it at 10, which I think wow. is a cute uh, thing, and keep, keep, keep on going until... Yeah. <laughs> Death. Death. <laughs> I guess. That's fun. You gotta find ways <laughs> to entertain yourself. So anyway, we're excited to do that. And in order to celebrate, we asked you guys questions on socials. And as always, you are great question askers. I thought we'd answer a couple of those questions about us, right now. Music, life, all of it. Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Woo! Woo! So let's answer some of these. Angel, cause why not? On Instagram asked, what's the best thing about being married? Good, that's a softball. Yeah. For to start. Easy. There's so many great things about being married, obviously. Uh, I think one of them is. Hmm. And we just, there's just so <laughs> many. <laughs> um, having someone who is uh, just always on your team, on your, on your side, on the same page. I'd say it's nice to have someone that contractually has to hang out with you. I mean, this year. <laughs> you in know, particular. That's nice. But no, it is really nice, and especially because we also work together and write music together. Someone who you're just like on the same frequency with, right? Most of the, almost always, all of the time, right. and even when you're not, you are fundamentally still. That's really nice, and so I'd say that's one of one of the many, one of many great things, lovely things. Mm -hmm. Next one. So Le Duarte on Instagram asks, 
or says, define your relationship in a song. That's hard. There's a lot of songs. Whoa, there's a lot of songs. Um, <clears throat> Toxic your... by Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> JK, JK, JK. Hey. Uh, um, no more like Lucky by Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not about. <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. That uh, was a joke. Our song is Right as the Rain, mm -hmm. which is like a, an old standard. It's design. about our relationship being so natural that, you mm -hmm. know, it's just. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That first dance picture we were dancing to Right as the Rain. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> right as the rain. <laughs> That's all. Right as the rain, baby. That's right. You and me. Yeah. You and me, kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. There's some other questions that are song related. Okay. Um, uh, Yaselin Flores on Facebook. Thank you for your comments. It's happy anniversary. I hope you're happy together for five more years. Question: What is the song you would dedicate to each other? Oh, that's nice. So related. Surprise, surprise by Celine Dion. Oh, that's very nice. We love Celine Dion, and that was the song in uh, in college acapella that I arranged for Casey's solo on the album. So that was actually the first yeah. kind of like collab. Surprise, surprise. I told you lies. Um, I would dedicate to you uh, Mannequin by Katy Perry mm. because that's the song for some reason in 2009 that I would always call and sing on your voicemail if you mm -hmm. were not picking up my call. Not your love is real, but you're not a man. And then the bridge is like, could you ever be a real, real boy? Then you'll understand. But that's like the, the repeat of the chorus. That's what you dedicate to me. I dedicate Mannequin by Katy Perry to you. So meaningful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, what's next? Um, BL Perjanski. Hi, it's Hi. Jenna's mom. Asks, happy anniversary. Which of you is better at fixing things around the house? I think after five years, we've both kind of developed our areas of, of specialty. Oh. Like, like I, I'm better at fixing, like doing some light carpentry or, or mm -hmm. fixing, you know, doing landscaping, fixing things like that. What am I good at? Well, you assemble all the furniture. That's true. You're the primary furniture assembler. I'm That's your true. assistant. I'm like Any electronic thing, you'll set Electronic troubleshooting. Electronic troubleshooting. Internet is out, not working. But I was gonna say we're just both pretty inept. Oh yeah, at that's things. one way to at, say At like, it. at fixing things. We, we need help, is what we're saying. <laughs> right. Help us. <laughs> yeah. Whimsical on YouTube community says, wow, this is so amazing. I wish all the happiness in the world for you. Happy anniversary, thank you. Thank you. And asks, have you ever tried makeup on Casey? Has Casey worn makeup? Does he like it? Well, I, I mean, I obviously wear a light bit of foundation. Don't we all? Obviously. Post 30 at all times. But, but um, there yeah, is- you, Yeah, not as much as maybe I think you we could yeah. put you in like a, a, a face, uh, but you can, you can rock a, Eyeliner, when we eyeshadow. When we shot the lean on, lean on me? No. Blow a kiss, Blow a kiss fire, fire gun, gun. You, you need someone, someone to lean on. Lean on. Lean on, lean on, lean on, lean on me. me. When we shot the lean on, lean on in me nice. mashup in the south of France, in Nice, uh, we, on the way to shoot the video, we stopped in a Sephora and I was trying on different eyeliners. Because that's like, a Sephora is just like fun. So you fun. You go in and you're just like, la yeah. la 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 la. La la la. So I had one eye that was like heavily Weren't they both made done? up. Yeah, but I think I rubbed one off. So in the video, I weirdly have like well, we one is more than the other. But they both, in the video, people have commented on that video. Like, is he wearing eye? Like, I look like, an, a, eye like an ancient Egyptian like priest. Yeah, I don't think we realized when we were filming it that you hadn't really gotten it all off. So it's like a, it's a, it's a look. It's an iconic it's look. But that's my only uh, on-camera iconic. Comment if look. you think we should do a video putting Casey in a full, like, like drag beat. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna do it though? Yeah. I don't trust that <laughs> at all. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> okay, so Melissa Kendall, hi, on Twitter asked, "What's your favorite TV streaming show to binge watch together?" 
Oh man, watching good shows has been a foundational element of our relationship from the beginning. We used to watch shows on Skype together when, when we, we were, were long distance. distance. When I was in San Francisco and what shows Sam's here. That was like Game of Thrones. Yeah, well, we we would like be like one, two, three, start the show, mm -hmm. be on Skype. Oh, we love a and, Black Mirror, yes. for example. Anything sci-fi, time travel, Black dystopian, Mirror, dark, dark. Oh my god, dark. We love Westworld. Oh my god. Oh, when is that? I love what Ozark. Is yeah, there's a lot. We watch it all. We watch it all. Nzed Judith on Facebook asked, how do you carry on as a couple with criticism from fans who are homophobic? Huh. A very good question. Um, I think what we focus on more and what's more meaningful is being able to, to be a voice for fans who, who are in situations or live in places where it, they don't feel comfortable being out um, or yeah. being, being themselves and, and being able to, to connect to, to those people is more important to us than than thinking about people who don't necessarily, you know, who are homophobic. Yeah. Just doing a video like this, just being ourselves and sharing a little bit of our lives, I hope is in its own small way, helping to fight, you know, homophobia to a certain extent by yeah. just, you know, setting a good example and being, being who we are and showing uh, our love and our, our story. So, um, and plus just even looking through the comments on, on these posts we just did to ask questions and there's just so much love and so much so support. much support and i think right i think by now you know and any anyone who's homophobic probably is not gonna be a fan <laughs> so bye-bye right. um only only good vibes only love here uh, but that's a a great question okay now we have a couple questions like about our wedding which is very fun because we like fun. to reminisce about our wedding. Um, Shidi asked uh, on Instagram, she said, so excited for the vlog. Um, also, Shidi has been part of this this Promise Marathon, which is very special That's to us. so knowing sweet. That, uh, uh, you guys are just repeating the song, repeating the video, amazing. Um, she asked, what made you pick a venue to marry in Los Angeles rather than the East Coast? And the place you got married was so beautiful. How did you find out about the Carondelet House? Shout out to the Carondelet House, which was our venue. A, because our life is here in Los Angeles and so many of our friends. Also, because we had my family coming in from Hong Kong. LA was kind of a, a perfect midway point, sort of midway point between <laughs> Uh, Asia and the East Coast. And so we kind of decided, plus like the weather is always amazing here. So it's just like a nice vibe. People like a little bit of a destination wedding. Yeah. I think our families had a lot of fun flying out from the East Coast. And, from and we had the just park. just uh, moved into this house. And so that allowed us to kind of like have a little housewarming as our uh, day after brunch. So right. we, had a, we had a Chinese uh, banquet as our rehearsal dinner. Mm -hmm. We had our, the Carondelet House was our main wedding venue and then we had the brunch here. Mm -hmm. And how do we pick the Carondelet House? I mean, we just fell in love with that venue as soon as we saw it. We saw a bunch of venues in LA and that one just like had the aesthetic. It's mm -hmm. just a beautiful historic space. You know, it, it was just, mm -hmm. it was nice. Mm -hmm. And it was the right size and- I highly recommend we it. We loved and they were, yes. and, and the food was great there too. Oh my God, the catering was so good. Amazing. On Instagram, Queen Gabby 2008 asked, what was the taste of the wedding cake? Please tell me, crying face emojis. It was delicious. Uh, Do you remember? Do you not remember? Of course I remember. Oh, you still look like you were like thinking about it. No, I was gonna say that when we actually went to cut and eat the cake on the night of, Yeah. It, that was all kind of a blur at that point. I think that's even featured in our, in the This we Promise music video. Drink. We were dancing. I am like moving around the cake. <laughs> So on the night of, I, I can barely remember it to be honest, but it was a delicious uh, red velvet. From Lark Bakery. Uh, like a cream cheese frosting. Oh yeah, and it's nice because Lark Bakery uh, in Silver Lake makes cupcake versions of that same cake. So we can go and have a uh, red velvet cream cheese exactly. frosting cupcake and experience our wedding cake anytime we want. The version and we've the done same that. Thing Maybe we should do that It's really nice. We should do that. Get, or get some and have it with the wine. Oh. That's cute. Cute. Um, Amazing. And then go to Chinatown and re have our whole uh, banquet. Banquet. The banquet, was banquet. Fun. <laughs> I love a Chinese banquet. Give me all my cheese cards. This video has been brought to you by Trisco. Use our promo code. I wish. Sammy Casey, five year anniversary for a free. If I had a Trisco promo code, Trisket. I would be using it myself. <laughs> I'll be dying. 
All right, so Ellen Gamelmark on Facebook asked, happy anniversary to, well, she said, happy anniversary to you two amazing people. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Um, I love the ambiance of your wedding portrayed in the music video for this promise. I'm currently planning my own wedding. Congrats. So I'd like to know whether you have any advice about do's and don'ts from your experience. Wow. I would say a do, and you probably are already doing this anyway, but just, uh, the importance and the the value of a good videographer. Oh. I, do, do we need a video? It's so yes. nice. Morgan Summer really did such nice. an amazing job. Um, Shout out to them. In general, I feel like I just have so loved being able to look back at that footage. I also think like there's nothing that you have to do. You know, I, I think that's so important. Like Absolutely. you can just make your wedding whatever you want it to be right. and create the meaningful moments that you want to exactly. have. And there's no like, you know, just scrap whatever you don't want and do I, whatever you want. I think on some level that's that's like one kind of nice liberating thing initially about a, having a gay wedding. Yeah, is totally. that you, because you're already in some ways breaking some set traditions, right. you open up your thinking a little bit to be like, oh, what actually do we want? And we can kind of do whatever we want. But I think that that holds true for anyone's wedding. You yeah. know what I mean? I think if something means something to you. Just do it. Just do it. But make it a good party. Yeah, it's gotta be a good party. It's about you, but it's not really about you. It's about your guests. Right, right. That's the other don't, is like, don't don't focus too much on yourself. Yeah. But focus on yourself, because it's your day. But it's not your day. I guess we should have a whole wedding channel <laughs> where we discuss hot wedding oh my tips. Gosh. So a couple of people actually asked this, uh, a follow-up on a factoid from our proposal story vlog. Are your initials, uh, this is Aaron Acorn on Instagram, uh, and also Cuber Crusher 13 also asked it. Um, are your initials still engraved on the stairs at your college dorm? You mentioned it in your engagement story vlog, but it's killing me not knowing. It's killing me not knowing. I don't know. The we background for anyone who doesn't know is that when they were uh, repaving the steps in front of the building that we lived in, um, in New Haven, we, sneakily put our initials on the side. Yeah. The last time we were there, which was a few years ago. After my brother's wedding, yeah. two years ago. Two years ago. They were still there. They were still there. So that's the most recent, but we haven't been back. I bet they're still there, right? How I often so. can they, how often can they re, repaint that? I hope they stay there. Well, we're still together, so I think that means the spell has, is holding. Yeah, so it must be. The horror crux. Um, but next time we're in New Haven at Yale, we will give you a, an update. Yeah. Okay, we've got a question from Evan Street Picks on Instagram. What is your favorite tradition that the two of you share? And if you got a week anywhere together, where would it be? A new one is we've been going to Joshua Tree a lot, which about an two hours outside of Los Angeles. It's like a beautiful desert, desert magical vibe. And there's a lot of really cute little Airbnbs you can rent for a few nights. It's sort of a staycation, but also a whole other world. We've gone and done little writing retreats. I think another place that if we could be anywhere is uh, we went on our hon honeymoon in Greece. Oh. And one of my favorite just like images from our honeymoon is having a glass of rosé at sunset, reading a little book on the roof of our hotel in Fira in Santorini. So anytime, I would drop everything and go to Santorini and oh, it Greece sounds amazing. in general. And just... We had such a nice honeymoon, that was so fun. Chill, I know, I wanna go back. Five year, should be, should, should be do a... <laughs> a five year return. Yeah, every, this is another thing. Every five years you have to do your honeymoon again. Of course, please. please. Okay, and our final question uh, to sort of wrap it all up, um, Trisha Nagel on Instagram asked, do you have any advice for newlyweds? I mean, now that we are so experienced in marriage, AJ. we are like the experts. JK. Um, uh, I think this is advice, not just necessarily for newlyweds, but any, two people starting their lives together. Um, any any projects that you're dreaming about, anything that you that you want to do together, just like get a start on it early, I think. Mm. You know, like we waited like three years to start landscaping a little hill in the back and yeah. did that last year and I'm really glad we started that. There's a lot of a lot of projects that you know we were excited to do together that we've only kind of now started in the last year or two. Yeah. And and I just think it's like, you know, don't don't put stuff off if there are exciting things that you that you want to do together. Just just do it you realize like, oh no, like life has begun. This right, is, This right, is right. our life, so yeah, just. You kind of, you never feel like there's some moment where you're like, now everything is is completely right for me to start this next step or this next thing, but fully grown. But then at some point you're like, hmm, no. Right. It's the time is now. If you have any big dreams as a couple or as an individual, now's the time Yeah. to do them. And enjoy your youth. Enjoy your youth. <laughs> it goes by so quickly. <laughs> I remember 2016. That is it. Thank you so much for the questions. There were a 
So many questions we didn't get to answer, but we have a lot of exciting music and exciting news coming soon mm -hmm. that we can't wait to share. And thank you for all the well wishes for our fifth anniversary. We really appreciate it. Before you know it, it'll be 10 and 15 and Let's just take it one and... day at a time. But yeah, so we're gonna go drink our wine, read our notes, write some new notes, and celebrate. But thank you all so much for watching. We love you. Mwah. And we'll see you soon.